Hi loves and welcome back to my channel. Today we have my first Hermes Quota bag unboxing now. Sorry I haven't been uploading. I had some family matters to deal with, but what a way to come back to my channel. We'll be switching my uploads to once a week. I've got a bit of travel coming up and I think I can manage a more consistent schedule for you guys that way. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know this is a long time coming. I bought this bag back at the end of last year, around October, it's been watched over by a family member for me in the US, just picked it up from their house and I'm back in Dubai. I wanted to give the full unboxing here with my backdrop and everything. Before I ramble on too much, by the way, if you're new here, hi, my name is Morgan. I make videos about luxury handbags, fashion, and lifestyle. So if that's your thing, please subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll be uploading once a week and I would love to have you here. And let's get into my first Hermes Quota bag unboxing. Before I start, pause, guess below. I went through Fashion File. And I ordered it to my US home because the shipping is cheaper, there's no imports because Fashion File is a US company. And I traveled back with this to Dubai. I packed the box in my suitcase and I hand carried the bag with me, so that's why the paper's a little messed up. This came with a full set, which I'll get into those in a minute. But let's get into this box. It did come with the pillow. To pack this, I couldn't really bring the pillow, so. The pillow is actually still at my family home. And oh, I think you got a little peek. Here is my first Kelly. I am so thrilled. I've had the money set aside for two years and I've been trying to find either a Kelly in Blue Atoll, which is this in gold hardware, or a Rose Confetti Kelly. Let me just show you the bag and then we'll get into the pricing later. Here is my gorgeous Kelly with gold hardware. She was literally like new. I couldn't believe when I finally opened this bag. It still had the stickers when it arrived. Ready, I've gotten fingerprints on it. Again, in all of my research, there was like mixed opinions on keep the stickers, don't keep the stickers. I bought this bag for use and for life. This is never leaving my collection. And it arrived at my family home. I asked one of my family members to remove the stickers. Let me just show you. It's got the turn lock here and you open it up like this. I'm still getting used to opening the flap. I will most likely wear it with like the straps underneath. I don't know if that's like a good or a bad thing. You guys can tell me in the comments like how you feel about that. Since this is my first Kelly, open to your experiences with your Kelly. So please let me know in the comments below. And if we open it up, it's immaculate inside as well. You have two pockets here and a zip pocket in the back. I have already ordered two inserts with this, so I will give you a little review of those in a second. This is a Kelly 32 in Togo leather, the Retourne style with gold hardware in the color Blue Atoll. I hope those are all the specs you were looking for. If I missed something, just ask me in the comments below and I'll answer it there. The bag came with the shoulder strap. It's just a thin little strap like this. It also came with the raincoats, the lock, and the little clochette. Now I fully intend to never wear this bag with anything hanging off of it just because I wanna keep it looking as new as long as I can. Honestly, when I got this, there's not even like a mark on the bottom. I genuinely think that someone just kept this in their closet. I don't know how I got so lucky. So let's get into the pricing of this bag. But I did a little digging online from what I found this size Kelly in Togo leather retails for about 11,500 US dollars if you are lucky enough to get one from Hermes. I kept that price in my mind in terms of what I was willing to pay pre-loved. I was very specific with the specifications I wanted. With Hermes, you can pay two times the bag, three times the bag pre-loved. I said, I'm not gonna pay more than 25% above retail for a pre-loved one, because you have to pay a premium pretty much for any Kelly you get. I knew for sure I wanted the Rose Confetti Kelly in the Cellier. So I was a little more open to the Cellier or the Retourne style for the Blue Atoll. I was lucky enough to find it just under the price I had set in my mind. And we all know that I paid a premium, so I feel a little weird. You can do the math. It was just under that 1.25 times retail that I wanted to keep it under, and I, searched and waited and was very patient. Well, I've started shopping a little bit in Hermes in store, but it keeps just getting harder and harder to get an offer. So I was happy to pay the premium and just get the specs that I really wanted for this bag. Let us wrap a Twilly on it. So I've had this Twilly for a long time. This would be a color of Kelly that I wanted and I did buy this Twilly 
with that in mind that one day Hopefully I would have this bag in my collection. I'm just gonna wrap it on here quickly and show you what it looks like. Here is the Twilly On. I absolutely love it. I think it complements it so well. It's like carousel kind of horse on here is just perfect. It brings in the Hermes Heritage as well as a horse riding brand. You guys know I'm loud, I'm fun. Maybe this would be too much for other people, but I think it's really perfect for my style. I'm gonna do something a little bit different with the modeling shots this time, and let me know if you like it in the comments. So I'm gonna try this on in a mirror in my hallway with more natural light, where I film is in my closet, and I have to use, you know, studio lighting here. And I really wanna show um, the natural color of this bag with no editing on that clip. So let me know if you like that. But for reference, I am five foot six inches tall. I wear a US size six. And this is how the 32 looks on me. I really did a lot of research and tried to find girls close to my size, close to my height, wearing the 32. And when I found a few girls who were around my same size, I really loved how it looked on them and I've been trying to add more daily use size bags because as much as I love a mini bag, you guys know I love a mini bag, I think this is going to be a bag that really takes me from decade to decade and is functional and I can fit things in it. That is something I really wanted to make sure with my Kelly is that I wasn't buying something trendy, I was buying something that suits my body type and that suits you know, my needs for the future and not just for now. Most likely I will be carrying this mostly in the hand, but lesson learned with my LV Capucines, I will always have the strap inside the bag because that bag gets heavy after carrying it and I can tell this is gonna get heavy too. I wanted to show you the two inserts I got from my Kelly. This one is from Samorga and this one is from 7RP. I got the Samorga one first. A lot of people in the Hermes community are like, you know, 7RP is the end all be all, you have to get one, but it's crazy expensive. Like the price difference between these two is massive. I'm going to put the prices up here on the screen so you can just see the price difference. Can you feel the quality difference? Absolutely. But even though I haven't used my bag, I have put these both in and I have already noticed some pros and cons to each style. This one fits more snug and on the inside, it fills out the corners. It does with the retourne style, help it reinforce the corners a bit. Now this one is made where it stops just short and the bag bends on the sides and like kind of comes into the bag. This sits comfortably between the bins, but that means this really does not help fill out the corners. I will say like having this more firm type of material, I feel better about putting my items in here. This is a little flimsier and you know bendable when you put your items in. This one really packs where your items pack towards the inside rather than bulging out as much. I'm actually going to use both of them throughout here and there and compare them so I get a better idea of what I would really recommend. So I will definitely do an update video on that later in the future. I also did a little Hermes shopping on my trip to the US. I flew through the Amsterdam airport where they have a duty-free Hermes shop, which means you don't pay any taxes there. You guys know I love duty-free shopping, so I had to pick some things up. And then I also ordered a couple of things on the US Hermes website while I was in the States, just because there were a couple of pieces that I just couldn't resist. So I'm gonna show you those now. The first thing I ordered while I was in the States, this is from the US Hermes website, is something to go with my Kelly. And it's not quite complete, so you're probably gonna make fun of me for that, but, um, oh, I did have the bow on there, but for packing purposes, I took it off. This is my first Hermes belt. And the reason I bought this is because it's blue atoll and white on the other side. I have been looking for a white belt for ages. I wanted something that I could have interchangeable hardware with a white because I know a white is not a color I'm going to use a lot. So it was just perfect. They had it with the blue atoll on the other side. Why I say it's incomplete is because I have not bought a buckle yet. So I didn't want to buy a buckle online. I really want to take my bag in store and try the different buckles. I'm not married to the idea of the traditional H buckle that most people go for. I thought maybe because the bag is so big, I might wanna go for a thinner, more simple buckle, but I'm gonna take the bag in store with the leather piece and try on different buckles and decide. I just didn't wanna miss out on this combination since it was two colors I was really missing in my belt collection and it matched my bag. The next thing I bought is a pair of shoes and I didn't take the box because, you know, flying and having to pack it in your carry-on, 
It just didn't make sense to take them in the box, so that's a tip. If you are duty-free shopping in the airport, leave some room in your carry-on suitcase and you don't have to think about packaging because you can just tell them you don't want the box. This is something I didn't think I was gonna get and I probably would not have bought at Dubai price because Dubai price is much higher for Hermes shoes than it is in Europe and then when you get the Europe duty free price, it's like so much better. But, I know I have succumbed to the dad shoe trend. I saw these in the duty free and I was like, you know what, let me just try them on. Let me see if they fit. And they did. But let me just remove the packaging and show you the pair. I have not worn these yet, but these are gonna be perfect for summer. I imagine these with jeans. And the thing is, is I'm shifting away from buying heels and buying, like I don't really buy boots because I live in Dubai. This is a shoe I can use year round in Dubai with jeans, with, you know, summer shorts or like dresses. Really excited to try these. Yes, I do have the orange Oran sandals in the same color. If I was gonna go for a dad sandal, I wanted it to be a bright color and it just kind of worked out. I found these in the duty free. I really liked them on and so I went for them. And the last items that I got from, three are from the duty free and one was on the website. And I would have bought all four of the duty free. They only had a single of one of them and that was the one I wanted the most. So I had to get the other one. Luckily they had it on the US website. Let me just unwrap these and show you the cutest Twillies you will ever see. We have two pairs of Twilly dolls. If you haven't seen these, these are miniature sized Twillies and people tie them on the handles of their like teeny tiny bags and their Oran sandals. So I brought over my Oran sandals and I'm gonna just tie them on here and show you how freaking cute they are. So of course, that's why I got them in pairs is because this pair would work with my orange and my blue Orans. Eventually, I know for sure I wanna get pink Orans. I'm just waiting for the right color. So I got a set of pink and I do have the big Twilly to match this and I have the big Twilly to match this. So it kind of just made sense with the Twillies that I already had in my collection and where I see my Hermes collection going. So. Let me just show you the blue ones on the blue sandal. How stinking cute is this? Like, I'm obsessed. Let me show you with the bag. The colors are definitely off. This is a lighter version, but I think because the Twillies have both this kind of turquoise color in it and this like lighter aqua color in it, you could get away with wearing this. Until I can find a blue Atoll Oran, I think this is a great way to mix and match the two blues with an outfit. But let me know what you guys think. Isn't this just like the cutest thing you've ever seen? Like I'm so obsessed with it. You're gonna be sick of me. This bag, these shoes, the Twilly dolls, all of it. Like this is the summer look and I'm so excited about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. It's truly a dream for me and not something you're gonna see every day on my channel. Let me know any questions you have in the comments below and I can do some follow-up videos or some content over on my Instagram or TikTok around the bag. Let me know what you wanna see. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok to see how I style this bag and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.